Well, all in all, I'm happy with the colors that are in here. I'm not going to change that. But I'm finding this, you know, in theory, this is opposed by this, and that can work, you know, it, 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 it does work just fine. But looking at it square on from my vantage point, this is just bullying its way down. It's a little too much weight on top. So I'm not going to change this arc into this into an arc like this, but I'm going to take these colors and incur into that and break it up so that this is not a hard line anymore. It's actually quite weak. And, and generally, this cloud mass will be broken up, uh, showing much of the more distant sky behind it. We'll play with that, see how it goes. Sky's painted. Might still need a little bit here and there, but it's painted. I, leave, I decided to leave these two little clouds just hanging out there on their own. I think they do. They do something constructive for the design. I, I like them. Now we'll poke into these bushes. See if I can uh, turn them into something interesting. Welcome to another quiet morning. In my studio. I think they're dredging the ditches across the road right now. Yeah, they are. It's such a quiet process, I just love it. Next to nails on a chalkboard. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that sound. Not irritating at all. So I'm just going to lay in some indication of rocks of a shoreline over here. I'm going to try to vary the strokes a little bit, try to keep it somewhat interesting. A dot and a dash. We'll paint some Morris coat across the back side there. Sometimes, some folks just like making noise. Oh well, I guess it's a job that has to be done. We get flooding out here. Then it'll be a good thing that they dredge the ditches. Somewhere for the water to go. So I'll stop complaining. I'm using a little bit, a little bit of ultramarine blue and, and cobalt blue and raw umber and burnt sienna and yellow ochre and silicium crimson. <laughs> It's kind of bits of everything, you know? Just as long as some variety. I don't want too much of a look at me look back there, but... I do want it to show. Okay, that's probably enough. Uh, I'll just do a quick zoom on it. I should have just kept it zoomed in while I was painting it. Mm. 
There we go. Just just a thinnish line with some variety in it. Okay. Back it off a little bit. And I'm going to turn the camera off until these guys are done. I will spare you the agony.
Well, I seem to be taking a bit of a break right now, so I'll take advantage of it. Um, decided to go, you know, I've got the, so much purple here. I decided to, I thought that that would be very complimentary to this, uh, this uh, greenish blue. That's cobalt blue, burnt sienna, uh, and white. No, that's about it. Uh, the trees are anyway. And then I laid in just the odd stump. You know, there's a bit of a shore and some dead trees sitting here and there, and maybe the trunk of the odd, of the odd tree showing. Um, needed to keep it fairly interesting, but not too important. Now, I'm going to lay in. How is that? That's probably okay. Let's lay in this line. Am I even recording? Oh yeah, I am, okay. Let's lay in this line. This kind of fussy, kind of has to be right-ish line. My brush is not heavily loaded at all. That's uh... I know, that's kind of... Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Welcome back. Noise. This is not going to be the brightest line. But there's a distant ripple before it gets to the far shore, so it is beginning to pick up some of the light around it, some ambient light. I'm going to lay in a line of, of intenser light as we get a little bit closer. But this helps to establish the values of what I'm after back there. Okay, that's reasonable, I think. And we're going to have a little bit of that showing through. A little bit of that showing through. Bit of a rogue branch on the bottom there. Okay. Now I'm not going to be afraid to go a little wider with that either. I think that'll be okay. Cut the, top this, cut the top of this rock off a little bit. Just just bring the paint down to this level next but I'll just leave it at that for today it's a shorty and these guys across the street are on the road in front of my house they're gonna be here for quite a while they're moving at a glacial play a glacial pace it even sounds like a glacier moving anyway we'll see you soon